In this video, we're doing 10 drum hacks, coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner, and if this is your first time on Rhythm Notes, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today. We all practice drums, so check out the Practice Drums Checklist. We have one for hands and sticks, so get your free copy when you sign up for Rhythm Insider, our monthly newsletter. The link is in the description below. In 2019, I started off the year with a fun video sharing 10 drum hacks. I'm super inspired by David Raouf, the master of drum hacks, and I wanted to share some of the hacks that I do. Since then, I've learned a few more hacks and remembered some that just didn't make the first video. So let's check them out. We're gonna start off simple by using cymbal felts on drumsticks in place of soft mallets. The sticks that I'm using are Vic Firth 5Bs, so they're a medium thick stick that could hold felts in place fairly well. I, I suppose that if you have felts with larger openings or, or thinner drumsticks, you could wrap some tape around the stick to make an area that would keep the felts from moving. Now I usually have soft mallets in my stick bag, so this isn't my go-to for subtle cymbal rolls, but you never know when you may need to whip up something quick. After all, isn't that the spirit of a hack anyway? Next on our list is one of my new favorite effects, the Rim Crasher. If you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and please share it with someone you think might also get value out of it. Sabian makes a nice rim crasher, but I wasn't about to spend $225 when I could watch a David Ryuf video and, and, and hack my way through it. And compared to David, I definitely hacked this one. I took a 12 inch Wuhan China that I almost never use and a, and a Sabian 12 inch splash sitting in the same pile as the Wuhan and cut out about two inches of the outer edge. I used a roto zip tool to make the cut and it worked well, but I could have been a little bit more patient with it. The truth is that I wanted to get it done so I could hear the rim crasher on my 12 inch pearl firecracker snare. So I, I rushed the cut and ended up with a messy two inches of rim crashing pieces, but it, it sounded pretty good. They riveted together nicely and, and I'm happy enough with the results. Let us know in the comments below if you've done anything useful or interesting with your cracked or unused symbols, even if it's like not a new idea, just tell, tell us what you're doing to make cool sounds. While I was in the spirit of trying out some cymbal alterations, I decided to put some holes in this 13 inch Sabian El Sabor splash that has a keyhole issue. I didn't use it very much, so it wasn't a big risk to alter it and perhaps end up with a better sound, you know? And uh, I think that's what I got. I had a lot of cleanup after cutting and drilling so many cymbals that I started to think about using the cutouts from the Rim Crasher project to make a cymbal stack. And not every cymbal combination works when it comes to making cymbal stacks. The Sabian Splash inner cutout, however, worked well with my 11 inch Zildjian Hybrid Splash. In 
and of course you need cymbal sleeves. You know, remember the 13 inch Elsa Bohr splash that I drilled holes in? Well, it had keyholing because the previous owner didn't protect the cymbal from the cymbal stand. If you don't have sleeves for your cymbal stand, grab an old box of markers and, and find one that fits. Cut out a small section of the marker and use it to protect your cymbal on the stand. Sometimes you want to add a little sizzle to your cymbal and you don't want to have to spend 10 to $15 to do it. Just buy a lamp pull chain off Amazon for two to three dollars and let it hang down from your cymbal stand. Cut it to size or remove any decorative elements that could be annoying and, and connect the end to the chain to make a loop and just try it out. This is an easy hack and it's something that could be achieved with towels or other fabrics. Drummers place them on the snare as well as the toms to get just a more controlled sound. The high frequencies are, are often lost with a t-shirt on your drum head, but I usually try to expose enough of the surface to just add more attack and another sound option. You can spend a lot of money on cajon beaters and, and have those different implements to change up the timbre, but if you don't have the money or, or don't want to spend any, any money for a cajon beater, take your kick drum beater and add a sock to it. If it isn't enough, try stuffing uh, more socks or foam in there for more padding. I used a zip tie for this one and it's worked great for almost 15 years. Want more information on cajon kick drums? I'll link a video in the cards and include a link down in the description below. In the world of drum tuning, this is not a drum hack. For the casual hobbyist, maybe it is. I was certainly impressed with the thought when I first learned it from a high school drum teacher. So when you change drum heads, you can strip it down and, and wipe down the shell and hardware. This is a good time to also tap the shell and listen for the fundamental pitch. Tune the top and bottom head as, as close to the pitch of the drum shell as possible and fine tune the heads to finish it off depending on what kind of tuning you prefer. If you want more information on drum tuning, I'll link a video up in the cards and down in the description below. Maybe you have a percussion add-on that's just not staying in place or a floor tom leg brackets that are impossible to loosen. Don't reach for the wrench that you probably didn't bring to the gig anyway. Grab two drumsticks and sandwich the screw or, or wing nut uh, that needs to be tightened. The added leverage of the drumsticks works very well if you can squeeze the sticks just right. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.